Education Galaxy presents Reciprocals. We're going to explore the concept that dividing by a rational number and multiplying by its reciprocal results in equivalent values. Let's begin by exploring one area where dividing fractions is oftentimes necessary. Not only necessary, but delicious. In cooking! A reciprocal is a number you multiply by so that the result is 1. Remember, 1 is any fraction where the numerator and denominator are equal. That's because if the part and the whole are the same, the entire whole is shaded in. Now, let's say I have a fraction, 4 fifths for example. Well, a reciprocal is a number you multiply by so that the result is 1. So we need to think what can I multiply 4 fifths by in order to get 1? Hmm, well if I want them to both equal the same number so that the numerator and denominator will be equal, I can multiply the numerator by 5 and the denominator by 4. That will give me 20 twentieths, which is equal to one whole. Let's try two thirds. If I multiply it by three halves, I get one whole. What about six fifteenths? Give it a try. What can I multiply by to get one whole? Did you guess 15 sixths? Because that's right. Are you noticing what I'm noticing? Every time we find the reciprocal, the fraction gets flipped around. The numerator becomes the denominator, and the denominator becomes the numerator. That means the reciprocal of 5 eighths is 8 fifths. The reciprocal of 4 sevenths is 7 fourths. The reciprocal of 5, well, since that's just 5 over 1, the reciprocal must be 1 over 5. Well, this doesn't seem too bad, but let's check out how we can use this information in problems. One very important way we use reciprocals is when we're dividing by a fraction. In order to divide by a fraction, the rule is to multiply by that fraction's reciprocal. Let's look at this problem. Write an expression that is equivalent to 1 half divided by 1 eighth. We want to know how many 1 eighths fit into 1 half. Mathematically, in order to divide by 1 eighth, we need to multiply by its reciprocal, 8 over 1. So that's the same thing as 1 half times 8. Let's do a word problem now. Nisha is cooking pasta. She has 7 eighths of a liter of sauce. Each pasta dish requires 1 20th of a liter of sauce. Nisha is using the expression shown to find the number of pasta dishes she can make. Write another expression that can also be used to calculate how many pasta dishes Nisha can make. So, she has 7 eighths of a liter and is dividing by 1 20th, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 20 over 1, which also equals 20. So our answer is 7 eighths times 20. Let's try one more. Thomas has 9 tenths of a pound of butter for his cookie recipe. Each batch of cookies requires two-thirds of a pound of butter. The expression shown can be used to find the number of batches of cookies Thomas can make. Write another expression that can also be used to calculate how many batches of cookies Thomas can make. First, we want to start with the nine-tenths, and since dividing by two-thirds is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is three-halves, we get nine-tenths times three-halves. Cooking is just one real-world application of dividing fractions. Other places you might see it include when you're doing construction, calculating distances, managing time, and many more. Just remember, to divide a rational number, just multiply by its reciprocal.